Good afternoon, I am Destiny Momo. This is News Brief. Arising from the withdrawal of subsidy on premium motor spirit, PMS, by the federal government and the resultant increase in the price of the commodity, the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, issued a strike notice which had elapsed and they were poised to embark on a strike bill to commence on Tuesday, 3rd of October 2023. Consequently, a meeting was called by the federal government to avert the strike, and after much discussion, 15-point agreements were reached. Part of the agreements are that the federal government grants a wage award of 35,000 Naira only to all federal government workers beginning from the month of September, pending when a new national minimum wage is expected to have been signed into law. The second being that a minimum wage committee shall be inaugurated within one month from the date of these agreements and 13 order agendas. We've had very painstaking and meticulous deliberations. But what is important here is Nigeria. And all of us are committed to ensuring that this country remains united, peaceful, and prosperous. And that is the spirit behind every inch of this negotiation. We're grateful to say that at this point, we finally have an agreement to be jointly signed by the Trade Union Congress the Nigerian Labour Congress and the federal government. The details contained in the agreement will be presented by the Honorable Minister of Labour and Employment. The NLC and the TUC accept to suspend for 30 days the planned indefinite nationwide strike scheduled to begin Tuesday, the 3rd of October, 2023. And 15. This memorandum shall be filed with the relevant court of competent jurisdiction within one week as consent judgment by the federal government. After 30 days, if these issues are not implemented, we'll revisit all the issues, the ones that have that timeline. Because if they are not implemented within that period, it shows bad faith. It is something that affects everybody. In some private sector companies, they are taking some measures. I can remember one or two banks that have fully implemented about 100% wage review. So it's not something that, you know, uh, we are saying whether it will affect them or not. It will. You know, and then it's a measure that is aimed at cushioning the effect of this harsh policy. You know, harsh policy in the sense that it was not anticipated and it appeared that the fabric, you know, of the source of existence of Nigerians. So that is, is a stark reality that is facing all of us. So how to face it? So as uh, contained in the signed communique, which I believe you will have a copy um, any moment from now, and as attested to as well by the president of NLC, uh, we have a signed, a signed agreement and we have signed this agreement with the belief that government will act in utmost good faith. Uh, we signed this agreement with the belief that every single item in this agreement are implementable. Every single item in this agreement, we are extremely serious about them and uh, we wish to also reiterate that we are expecting a 100% implementation and not a 99% in any way. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.